What's up guys? I had such an incredible opportunity that involved Russell Crowe and John Oliver, but you're gonna have to wait to find out more. Enjoy. So we are about to go do something that you can only do in three other places in the entire world. And I'm just, I don't know why, but I'm like really excited. Are you? I'm stoked. I'm really stoked. It's gonna bring back a lot of memories going and doing what we're about to do. And I know you guys are just like, what is it? What are you about to do? I, I think I'm, I'm so excited, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't done this since high school. High school, I, yeah, I would say either high school or even middle school, maybe. No, I definitely did it in high school. In Oconee County, there's not that much to do. That's true. She grew up in the country, <laughs> so uh, all that she was doing was pushing cows over what? and playing in the no, woods and no. going to where we're about to go. <laughs> I was, uh, I grew up more in the city, so I was doing a lot more of the more things. More in the city? More like in the city. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I didn't grow up in the downtown, so. Wow. But you know, but let's go in and check it out. If you haven't guessed where we're going yet, oh, we're going to Blockbuster. Oh, even that smell is nostalgic. <laughs> that Blockbuster smell. All right, Jazz, let's go see Blockbuster. SpongeBob! Wow! What year is it? What year is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is bringing back so many memories. Wow. What is Peter Rabbit? Peter Rabbit. Jocelyn, you have never been in a blockbuster, have you? Guess what I got? Whoa! You're a member! I know. It's not the old school where it's, you know, your name's typed on the With back. With like a barcode? Ridiculously yeah. faded font. Or yeah. laminated. But I should maybe frame this, you know? Like, yeah. well, maybe it'll be worth something one day. It's pretty impressive. Especially since my name's on it, just as a member. Yeah. Maybe someone in like 10 years will be like, oh, Blockbuster, I remember that. So what are we going to rent tonight? With your membership. I don't know. Your newly minted membership for the last night of rentals only. We could probably get lost in here for like two hours trying to figure that out. Especially with her. She'll want to rent like everything in here. Do you have any ideas? Let's go take a look. Maybe do some marathons or some TV show series. Or... I don't know. Let's go take a look. All right. Come check this out. Actually, Mommy, you too. You might uh, appreciate this more. So, this is Russell Crowe's vest from Les Mis. Oh, is it really? Yeah, you can see down there a letter written by him. Uh, it's very hard to read his handwriting. This vest is part of my costume for Les Mis. The actual uniform had sleeves, a tail. When doing horse riding, something in this costume uh, with a blue riding coat scenes, doing horse riding scenes in this costume. The top of it was very uncomfortable, so I asked the costume department to make a version that was only used, uh... Wow. Wow. Les Mis, 2012. What a great and movie. And then here, Cinderella Man, here is his boxing outfit, uniform that he came out to. Unfortunately, we don't get yeah. to see the <laughs> jock strap. Yeah, he, uh, he the director's chair and the hood from Robin Hood. Uh, the jock shop, that would be from um, Cinderella Man. Unfortunately, we don't get to see that because it's at the Fairbanks store. But that's just really funny that that's in here. Oh, here's another letter. Boxing trunks and the film Cinderella Man and the weight championship belt. 2004. Russell. That's pretty cool. Well, you want it cooler? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, good. It says do not touch, but uh. Hey, what are you doing? Stop. No way. <laughs> yeah. Get away from there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't tell anyone. Whoa. <laughs> Russell Crowe's been in that? Now your body has touched Russell Crowe's body? Okay, that's kind of creepy. It kind of smells like Russell Crowe. I'm not putting your shorts on, sorry. No, I'll, I'll keep that on. Just stop with the shorts. Oh, wow. the I was being nice, and it's like trying to get it back. It's like, oh, my oh be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Jo uh, honey, we don't need to try the jock strap on. No, and I wouldn't no. smell that people one. Ask me, so oh, wow. On. I would not smell that one. Did you get the back side of it? What do you think? I right, turn around. Wow. Jocelyn, what do you think of daddy? <laughs> Did he look strong in that? Oh, very Here, let me tie this. Wait, wait, let go. This should, this should be like somebody's bathrobe, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Wow. How do, how do you feel? Do you feel different? Strong. Oh, <laughs> wow. So I can't lie, that was that was pretty cool. So, so this this touched Russell Crowe? Is that how this works? Your body Are you touching me to... because you want to touch Russell Crowe? Of course not. I love you. Okay, yeah, sure. Of course. Maybe it's a good thing that uh, the jock strap <laughs> wasn't there because... That's gross. I know, but that's gross. Who else would could have done that? If he would have let you try on the vest from like this, I would have made you sing. So I guess you can call that a win that he didn't no, have I, the vest on. I but, don't know the songs. <gasps> oh, you could have made one up. You're great at ad libbing. Our whole family is great at ad libbing. Yeah. That would have been more something that you could have done, <laughs> not me. Whoa! Are you seriously wanting to watch that? No way. I want to. You want to? Uh, what? I think you would have bad dreams for a very long time. It's kind of even scary to look at, isn't it? We can hide our faces, but this turns up. We have our faces. And this Cassie, so she just. And with Cassie? Uh -huh. So if we just hide our faces with Cassie, then you'd be okay? So if we bring it back, you won't have dreams about it? Uh -huh. Hmm, I'm not sure about that, honey. Although I have wanted to see that one. I haven't seen it yet. We did not rent the movie It for Jocelyn. Uh, we're much better parents than that. We haven't seen it yet. We definitely want to. But I'm actually going to leave some links at the end of this uh, from John Oliver's show from HBO. I don't normally watch that show i have to give credit to derek one of our viewers thank you derek uh, for sending me these uh, videos that john oliver did on alaska and blockbuster and they are hilarious so please take the time to watch them i think each one's like four and a half minutes um there's a blockbuster and then a blockbuster update and he's a comedian on hbo i don't condone his language i don't normally um watch anything like this but it's so fitting for what just happened with the russell crowe and it might make a little bit more sense to you so thank you derek um for sending us those videos and for allowing that opportunity to even be a possibility because we may not have even gone if we didn't see those but i hope you guys enjoyed today that was just again so awesome and cool uh to be able to try that on i was not expecting that at all um so but again i hope you guys enjoyed it Hope you guys are doing well, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. What'd you find? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Oh my goodness. Close my eyes. All right, what is it that you found? Oh, of course you found Toy Story. You love Toy Story.